It has certainly been a snowy winter, but if you haven't cleared your sidewalk yet, take note. The city of Spokane is sending out notices, and the next step, a hefty fine. KXY 4's Brittany Ferris working for you on who's responsible for clearing the snow. Brittany? Nadine, the city gives you 24 hours to clear your sidewalk after it stops snowing, but keeping them clear of ice and snow seems like a never ending battle this winter, especially on sidewalks like this one in front of a vacant building. So when the while the city works to keep roads clear, they ask you to work on sidewalks. What? Sick of clearing snow? It's just really frustrating. It's just really hard. And You're not alone. Some people have given up on winter. This car owner likely waiting until spring. Sidewalks and streets clogged with snow and ice make getting around town pretty dicey. I'm, I'm getting ready to catch the bus to go to work. And as you can see, it's it's hard. It's hard walking on the snow. Dion Benedict takes the bus every day. All this snow and then they can't get exactly close to the thing. so. It's hard to get on the bus sometimes too. So she's had to get creative this winter. I mean, sometimes we have to jump. Um, sometimes, you know, we have to get it into the street and then step up to get on the bus. It's usually jumping. But for some, jumping isn't an option. I fractured two toes and it's just been not easy and I've also had surgery on my left. Spokane resident Christine Feist says she's taken a couple tumbles. That's why I wear the uh, clamps but sometimes that doesn't even help. Much of the blame falls on property owners who are expected to clear sidewalks within 24 hours after a snowfall. If you don't, the city could fine you $115. They've already had over 130 complaints of snowy sidewalks this winter and sent notices to 82 people. But over in Brown's Edition, they're waiting on much needed relief. Plows will clear north and south streets tomorrow, east and west streets Thursday, days after the snowstorm is long gone. Which has taken me about two and a half hours now to dig out. It's a good thing Matthew Silver is moving his cars today. Because when trucks plow through at 9 tomorrow morning, any vehicles on the road will be towed. And Nadine, the city says if one of their plows pushes snow onto a sidewalk, they won't charge or they won't find a homeowner for that. Crews were out today again plowing, sanding, de-icing, and fixing those pesky potholes. Live in downtown Spokane tonight, I'm Brittany Paris, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Brittany.